Good morning children. I hope you are all doing well at home. In the previous class, we have discussed about eclipses. What is an eclipse? Eclipse is nothing but the shadow cast by the heavenly bodies. Lunar eclipse means when sun, earth, moon come into order, we will get lunar eclipse. When sun, earth, moon come into order, we will get lunar eclipse. That is, moon acts as a screen, shadow of the earth falls on the moon. Suppose if sun, moon, earth come in the order, we will get solar eclipse. That means shadow of the earth falls on, shadow of the moon falls on the earth. So this is how we have discussed about lunar eclipse and solar eclipse children. So in lunar what will happen? In lunar eclipse what will happen? Sun, earth, moon will be in the order. In solar eclipse what will happen? Sun, moon, Earth will come in the order. Shadow of the earth falls on the moon. It is lunar eclipse. Moon acts as a screen. Lunar means moon. You have to remember like right? moon acts as a screen. Shadow of the earth falls on moon. What is solar eclipse? Shadow of the moon falls on the earth. That is shadow of the moon falls on the earth. Then we say solar eclipse. Today's topic is pinhole camera children. Have you ever heard about pinhole camera? Yes. Pinhole camera is nothing but the name itself says it is pinhole and it is saying camera. Pinhole camera means it is a camera, it is a camera without a lens. It is a camera without a lens. You don't have lens in this children. You have only pinhole without a lens. You, a pinhole acts as a lens here. Pinhole behaves as a lens here. How to prepare this pinhole camera children? You can make this pinhole camera at home. It will be very easy and funny and you will feel very happy children. You please try to do this pinhole camera at home children. So for this you need two cardboard rectangular cardboard boxes or else like two cardboard boxes made with anything. So two rectangular cardboard boxes such that one should be bigger in size. One should be in a position which can be inserted into this. One, one rectangular box should be able to insert it into this children. So in this, if you take a rectangular cardboard, see that here you cover with a black paper. You cover with a black paper and small pinhole is being made here. And small pinhole is being made here. And here you have to connect a translucent material that is oil paper or butter paper or something like tissue paper like this translucent material you have to keep. This pinhole allows the light to pass through it. This acts as a screen where you get the image. Now you should be in a position to insert this into this. Then what will be the position of this? Like this you will have cardboard and you are inserting this into this children. You are inserting the second cardboard into the first, first cardboard children. Now it is a mobile one. Second cardboard is a mobile one. Here you will make a pinhole. Here you will make a pinhole. If possible you can cover this area with a black paper. With the cover with a black paper. So that extra light will not enter into it. I will repeat children. Take a cardboard. You make a pinhole. Here it is being covered with black. A small hole is being made. And another cardboard, here translucent material which behaves as a screen, this can be inserted into this and a mobile one, and a mobile one. If possible, you try to close this can. Now, if you take a candle which gives out light, then if you observe what will happen, you all know light travels in a straight line, yes. So, this light will pass through this, light will pass through this and here the image you will get is a Inverted image. Image is got on a screen. Image will get on a screen. If you get an image on a screen, we call such images as real images. If you get any image on the screen, we call such images as real image. If you observe the image, the image will be inverted. The image will be inverted. Why the image is inverted? When you observe, this light passes through the hole like this. This, uh, this passes through the like this. So, you will get an inverted image. You will get an inverted image. So, real inverted. And same color. If you make this perfectly, you will get the same color. You will get the same color. 
and if you observe the size size may be small or big or same size which depends upon the distance between the object and the screen which depends upon the object and the screen which depends on this position that means i told you this cardboard is a movable one if i move closer the screen will come closer to the object if i move further the screen will be moving far away from the object that means depending upon the distance the image will be small big or same size of the object depending upon the position of the object and the screen children children on what principle your pinhole camera works it works on the principle of rectilinear propagation of light What is rectilinear propagation of light, children? What is rectilinear propagation of light? You know it very good. It is nothing but light traveling in a straight line. Light traveling in a straight line. So, have you ever uh, know about the natural pinhole cameras, children? Natural pinhole cameras. Yes, now I will explain you. You might have everybody know this, but you don't know that they are natural pinhole cameras, children. Whenever you walk in a road, whenever you walk in a road which is covered with trees parallelly on the two sides, you are walking on a road, trees covered on parallelly on the two sides. Then what will happen? The trees are very bushy. Here the source of light acts like this. Source of light, sun acts as a source of light, and the leaves which are very bushy, leaf to leaf, some gap will be there that acts as a pinhole, and your road acts as a screen. On the road, what will you see? Here and here. Bright patches of light. Bright patches of light will be seen on the road. What are those bright patches of light? They are nothing but pinhole images of the sun. Pinhole images of the sun. Thus, we say that this is nothing but natural pinhole cameras which we see in our day-to-day -day life. I repeat, children, this will be observing while you are walking on a sunny day on a road which is covered with trees fully on the two sides. So when the trees are covered fully on the two sides of the road while you are walking, the sunlight penetrates through the holes between the leaf to leaf gap will be there. Through that gap, the sunlight penetrates. The gap behaves as a pinhole, and you will get the images as bright patches on the road. Those bright patches are nothing but pinhole images of the sun. And hence, we say that these are nothing but the natural pinhole cameras. Is it okay, children? Once again, I repeat, children. Pinhole camera is nothing but is a camera without a lens. Here, pinhole behaves as a lens here. Only pinhole. Pinhole means very small hole. Very small hole, which you make it make with a pin or something. Very small hole. Pinhole means very small hole. And your pinhole camera works on the principle of rectilinear your propagation of. light and what are the what is the nature of the image formed here the nature of the image formed here is nature of image how will be the image formed due to pinhole camera the nature of the image is real real image will observe inverted image will observe same color will observe same size or small size or big size depending upon the position of the object and the screen children and i told you about natural pinhole camera what is natural pinhole camera while you are walking on a road covered with the trees on both sides it will be observing bright color patches on the roads they are nothing but pinhole images of the sun and these trees will with the leaves very bushy leaves will behave as pinhole camera is it okay children will you try to do it at home and try yourself and check it children Okay, children. Then you can enjoy really if you do this at home, children. Now we'll do with the some of the questions related to the worksheet, children. Get ready with your textbooks and start looking through the questions, children. Okay, children. Take out your textbooks. Start uh, looking into the questions. Question number thirty-four, children. Question number thirty-four. Question number thirty-four is what is question number thirty-four? The occurrence of lunar eclipse is more common because the size of the moon is smaller than the earth. So, what is this? The occurrence of lunar eclipse is more common. Lunar eclipse is more common. Lunar eclipse is more common. Children, here listen. Solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse generally, 
solar eclipse and lunar eclipse generally will take place equal in number children equal in number generally if you take one year calendar one year calendar you have two times lunar eclipse two times lunar eclipse and two times solar eclipse children two times lunar eclipse and two times solar eclipse children if you observe sometimes it will happen four times maximum this is minimum maximum you will see four times solar eclipse and three times lunar eclipse also in the same children so uh, how many eclipses will see minimum four in a year maximum seven in a year children but here why we say lunar eclipse is more common why why is uh, we are saying lunar eclipse is more common because let us go into what is solar eclipse and what is lunar eclipse children this is solar eclipse lunar eclipse so in solar eclipse what will happen in lunar eclipse what will happen i told you in the previous uh, previous session sun lunar eclipse which is a screen here lunar means moon so moon acts as a screen here moon acts as a screen here and earth you know the size of the sun is very big earth is big moon is smaller when you compare so when sunlight falls on the earth what happens it casts more shadow on the moon that is it will get more shadow on the moon more shadow will be covered on the moon earth shadow will be earth casts more shadow on the moon as is occurs as is vision is possible we say lunar eclipse is more common when you compare with solar eclipse here sun here moon here earth then what will happen the moon size is smaller moon casts less shadow on the earth moon is smaller in size it casts less shadow on the earth therefore we say uh, lunar eclipse frequently common but in general when you take lunar and solar eclipses will be equal in number only lunar eclipse is more common why we say lunar eclipse is more common means this size of the moon is very less that size of the moon is less than the earth so i repeat children what is the question is lunar eclipse the occurrence of lunar eclipse is more common because what is the reason the size of the moon is smaller than the earth next question 36th question you see children what is the image formed on the pinhole camera in pinhole camera what is the nature of the image come on what is the answer children just now i told you it is real inverted what is the nature of the image real inverted next question children 37th question you see children they have given four statements children 37th question look into your textbooks they have given four statements children what are the statements they have given the objects which allow the light to pass through it are transparent objects which allow the light to pass through it are transparent objects is it true or false true so first statement is true children next what is the second statement the objects which emit light on their own are luminous objects yes it is also true children next what is the third statement they have given light is a form of energy true children and what is the last question they have given objects which allow the light to pass through it are opaque objects which is a false so for 37th question 1 2 3 are true children next question is 38th question what is 38th question i'll read out the question children any source of light which is bigger than point source of light is called extended source of light so here we have to choose which are the correct statements children so i am going to read out four statements we have to identify which are correct among them the first statement is the first statement is any source of light which is bigger than any source of light if you see any source of light which is bigger than the point source of light suppose we consider this as a point source of light if you consider uh, a bigger source of light here some light and we allow not point hole uh, more hole we kept it. the uh, aperture is very big this is a hole which allows the light for example generally this is a point source we consider only point light will get from this suppose we consider like this suppose more amount of light it is allowing more amount of light is allowing instead of suppose we consider this as a point source we get a straight line here this is a wider one 
wider edge so you will get more amount of light here such sources of light we call it as whatever the sources we have taken such sources of light we call it as extended sources of light so any source of light which is bigger than point source of light is extended source of light point number one true next one, second one a source of light which is uh, of the size of pin head which is of the size of pin head you know your pins for that pin head you know the safety pins which you use at home so this is a safety pin this is a pin head so very small hole very small hole then we call it as a pin hole source point source we call it as a point source yes true only this is extended source both are true only children and uh, a medium in which the uh, particles are different at uh, composition of the particles is different at different positions is heterogeneous. That is also true only. A medium in which the composition of the particles is uniform, that is homogeneous medium. Yes, that is also true only. So in 38th question, what you observe is all the four statements are true children. True, 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 true. All the four statements are true children. Then look into 41 question children. In 41 question, we have statement 1, statement 2. In 41st question, we have statement 1 and statement 2. I will read out statement 1 children. You listen carefully. Solar eclipse and lunar eclipse is seen only once in a year. Solar eclipse and lunar eclipse is seen only once in a year. What I told you children? Minimum 2 times, maximum 7 eclipses also will see. Here, then the statement is false right children so in 41st statement the first statement is false then you see 42nd one all full moon days and new moon days will create a clear shadow so what they are saying you know very well children this eclipse will occur lunar eclipse will occur on full moon night solar eclipse will occur on new moon day correct but here you know what they are given in the statement all full moon days and the new moon days will give you clear shadows. No. And hence it is also false children. Then we will look into question number 43. Question number 43 in your textbook children. It is not possible to see a burning candle by using a bent tube. Suppose you take a candle children. This is a candle. This is a candle. Suppose if I see the candle with this tube like this. If I peek through this. Then what will happen? I can see the light. Because you all know that light travels in a straight line. Suppose the same light. Suppose the same light. If I see through a bent tube. Through a bent tube. I cannot see the light children. Because light cannot bend. You know light travels in a straight line. I cannot see the light children. So what is the reason here? It is not possible to see a burning candle by using a bent tube, bent pipe. Because what is the reason? Yes, light travels in a straight line. And hence we cannot see the light through a bent tube children. Okay, next sir. 44th question children. 44th question. Uh, you can understand 44th question children because they are nothing but the definitions of Point source and extended source children which I explained you previously and both the statements are true children. They are nothing but the definitions only. Next, 45th question children. 45th question. What is 45th question is? Listen carefully. I will read the question. Laser gun focused on a mirror will be seen only at particular point after reflection. So what is laser gun? What is laser gun children? Laser gun is nothing but it is a device which produces laser beam which produces a laser beam of light which travels in a straight line only straight line beam it will produce children generally we use it for reading barcodes or pointing anything on the white boards marbles or something this laser light will be used laser beam laser gun will be used children so in this laser gun what they are saying it is focused on a mirror when it is focused on a mirror so when it is focused on a mirror then what will happen will be seen only at a particular point after reflection. So here only at a particular point will be seen. Yes, it's a true statement. So when it falls on a mirror, particular point will be seen after reflection. Okay, next one. Laser gun is a source of visible light which travels in a straight line. So it travels in a straight line. Yes, it travels in a straight line. So both are true statements children. Both are true. Next step. 46th question. 
question number 46. So, I'll read up the question number 46. Listen carefully, children. Moon, Earth, Sun forms eclipse due to sun source forming umbra of the moon on the Earth. Yes, children. Umbra of moon on the Earth, yes, children. Suppose this is sun. This is moon. You know, this is Earth. This moon will form, moon will form a shadow of the moon here. This is umbra. This is penumbra. This is umbra. This is umbra and penumbra. When umbra and penumbra are formed, when the object size is very less than the source of light. When the object size is very less than source of light. So here, this is the shadow of the moon. This is dark shadow, which is called umbra rays here. This is partially till here you can observe the shadow. That means the people who are living in the umbra of moon, umbra region formed on the earth due to moon, umbra region formed on the earth due to moon will give you total solar eclipse. And here partial solar eclipse. Who are in penumbra region can see partial solar eclipse. What is total solar eclipse? Partial solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse means they cannot see the sun. Partial solar eclipse means a part of the sun cannot be seen. So, here what happens once the question is said, moon, earth, sun forms eclipse due to sun source forming umbra moon, umbra of the moon on the earth, correct. Next, the artificial satellite of the earth is not forming any eclipse. So, apart from the moon, apart from the moon, artificial satellites also will be revolving, artificial satellites also will be revolving around the earth. But they are not forming any eclipses. Why? What is the reason? Here, the Moon size when you take, it will give you umbra and penumbra that to smaller one. It is not able to cover the whole earth also. But when you take a satellite of artificial satellite size, it is very very negligible. So, what is the reason children here? Size of the umbra portion of artificial satellite. Suppose imagine here some artificial satellite. Instead of moon, imagine some artificial satellite. So, this uh, uh, size of umbra, the artificial satellite forming the umbra on the earth will be very very negligible and hence you cannot see any eclipses. I read the answer children. Size of umbra portion of artificial satellite is negligible. Okay children. Next question. 47th question children. What is 47th question? Suppose you take a source of light here. This is source of light. And a ball here. And a screen here. And a screen here. Then what happens when the light falls on this? You will see the image of the ball. Here the light object and here you will see the image. Question is, if the torch moved away from the card, if the torch is moved away from this, then shadow will be, if you move this back, if you move this back, then what will happen? What happens to the shadow? Shadow will be smaller. Shadow will be smaller. That means screen is uh, same here. Screen is same here, children. Object is also 